Hi folks, this is Regular Matt coming to you with my fourth bedtime story. And this one's going to be kind of long, I think. I'll try to make it as short as I can. However, um, it's about uh, Steve Tushin and Frank Schweiss and Paul Gonski. Uh, Steve Tushin came to Chicago and he started as a janitor for uh, at the Aardvark Theater and basically it was all owned by uh, Jeff Began and uh, I believe at the time Paul Gonski and they, uh, they owned Festival Theaters Inc. and what happened was uh, they made him a partner and came out with some gay films. So they started, uh, when they first opened up they started with like Disney films or something like that and then gradually went to pornographic films. And uh, they made Jeff, or excuse me, they made Steve Tushin a partner. And when they made him a partner, um, he decided, uh, through some reason that I don't know, um, to be co connected with uh, uh, the mob. And Frank Schweiss uh, actually murdered uh, Paul Gonski. Uh, during that phase, just before that phase, uh, Pat Ricciardi, Patsy Ricciardi, uh, was coming constantly down the alley. And uh, I would say hi to him, and uh, he would talk to me, and he was on his way to Bijou to pick up money. And uh, it was kind of an easygoing thing. Then Frank disappeared. He left. He was out of town for a while. And uh, I was doing business with Marshall. And uh, what happened was that uh, uh, there was a big uh, thing about Paul being murdered. Uh, as Frank told me, uh, he said, uh, when that guy had the accident out by my shack, he described how he put one in his leg and, and seven in him. But uh, at any rate, uh, they took over to Bijou, and uh, it was kind of quiet. And while he was gone, he was supposed to be giving the money to uh, Patsy Riccardi, who was running the Admiral Theater. When he returned, uh, when Frank returned from Florida, um, we discussed this. And uh, I believe it was 1986, could have been 1985. Uh, I believe it was 86, though. He went and uh, he said he was going to sell up with Pat. And I knew there was a problem. I called the FBI, and they didn't get to him in time, and they certainly didn't put him under surveillance. But um, he had told me that he put him in the trunk of a smoker, a stolen vehicle, and uh, Frank did. Frank told me about uh, about murdering uh, uh, Ricciardi, Pat Ricciardi. But anyway, uh, that's how Steve Hushin got the full. They had a lawsuit going with uh, Festival Inc. And Festival Inc, uh, you can look online, look it up, but Festival Inc uh, at that time was owned by the three of them. They were all partners. And that kind of settled the lawsuit, especially after he called Jeff Bagan in California and said, uh, if you don't want to wind up like uh, your partner, you better settle the lawsuit. And they settled the lawsuit giving him the Bijou Theater and I don't know what else was involved, what he actually really got, but that's how it was settled. And uh, it was interesting at the time because I was busy with the store, and all these people were interviewed, and not once was I interviewed, even though I was at the time an FBI mole. So the people that were working the case never interviewed me. They interviewed people I knew, but they certainly didn't interview me. But anyway, that's my fourth bedtime story coming to you and uh, I would be uh, th tell me what you want to hear from I, r I really want to know uh, what you want to go into uh, this is murder uh, I talk about a lot of murders but I also talk about personalities and other things too and I've written a book as you know it's called uh, Nobody Cares and what I did about it you can find it at www.redwaymet.com and uh, at any rate, uh, thank you, Mike. I'm going to post this in your room. And 
Let's see if you can get a newspaper article to go with it. Thank you so much, and God bless.